Hello Aquarius. On the cut when I was cutting the cards and shuffling for your reading, I got the Ace of Wands five times. So we're going to look at the reading. The camera turned off, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm just, it's a beautiful reading for you. For many of you, you are in separation at this time from a lover. And I want to assure you, this is a beautiful love story. It is not over even though you may think it is. So the first card out of the deck for your mutual energy was the Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning. Um, you know, it's it's in the fairly recent past. This is not years ago, but I would say within the last 12 months or so. Uh, for the energy that's taking place right now, we have the Temperance card. Both of you are trying to stay, stay cool, calm, and collected. It is the energy of reconciliation, the number one reconciliation card I have in the tarot deck. The way your person views the situation, they look as though they're currently in a relationship, but they would like for the relationship to be with you. Fortunately or unfortunately, not with the party with whom they are currently with. For those of you that resonate, Take it how it comes. Not every card will be for every person. How they view you, they view you as sweet and innocent and kind and loving and that you do not really look into the future so much as live in the moment. We see this beautiful, beautiful, sweet picture here. I'm going to turn this up so you can see it more closely. We see this beautiful picture of an innocent, sweet girl, and there's a tail of the dragon with a flower, and she's just focused on the flower. She doesn't understand that there are pitfalls in this particular situation, but they see you as beautiful and young and sweet and innocent and kind. In their heart space, they feel as though they cannot take action at this time. When I look at the cards of the Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction, along with the Two of Swords, they're not speaking to you. They are restricting in a very deliberate manner. Swords are all about the intellect. The Two of Swords is Libra energy, trying to keep their balance in life. Life, the beat goes on. They're just trying to live their day-to-day -day life. The Eight of Swords, though, is a really interesting card because in this deck, we see these beautiful, huge wings. We also see that the top of the cage is left open. So in their mind, this relationship is not closed off. When they can fly again, when they can get free, they will. They will open the cage up, and until then, they're going to take care of day-to-day -day business. So it looks like a very passionate attraction to you, someone with whom they definitely want to see again, reunite with, how they view the situation as it is right now. The death card. The death card is always about death and rebirth. It is, if you were looking at a practical matter, you'd say, well, we're going to take out the old kitchen to replace it with the new kitchen. But it is a process. When we look at the death card, we're also looking at when the seasons. This is not the season for love with you. However, we have the beautiful card, the butterfly of transformation. Okay, so they don't see this as being over. They still see all of this beautiful growth and abundance. They see you as a person who is the feminine king of swords. Aquarius, that's you in the reading. They see you as very bright, very beautiful, that you have a magic wand, that you can turn on their wand like a light. <laughs> And so it really speaks to the fact that they feel as though you are taking, you are masterful in your life, you know what you're doing, you're staying calm, cool, and collected, and you're hoping for the future. That's, they view you as very enlightened, and they themselves see them, they see the situation in a very wise way. We have the samurai warrior. The bird is right here and can see from a higher perspective, what the samurai sees that no one else sees, or very few people. So what we see is a warrior who has a higher vision, looking at this from a much higher perspective of to win. 
Samurai warriors are all about winning and being strategic. So we see your person has a strategy, they have a plan. This could be called a man with a plan. <laughs> So the mutual energy between the two of you right now is the Hermit card. It's Virgo energy. Day to day, the two of you are not having contact. You're both searching for answers. You're both staying very grounded. You know, this is lovely energy from the perspective that the Hermit is Virgo, and Virgo solves any problem that Virgo wants to solve. So this is seen as both of you are hoping that this will come back to life. Spirit is advising you to keep the faith, keep beating the drum, move forward in your life, live authentically and live from your heart space. Do what feels good to you in all other methods, all other manners. Right now, strategically though, we see the female emperor card energy as the energy that says it may not be the right time, but keep moving forward, don't lose the faith, definitely keep the faith. Your outcome card, Aquarius, is great clarity in the near future. Clarity comes through a very grounded, nurturing energy in your connection with this person. Right now, we know that you're not speaking, but the Ace of Swords says that you will soon have contact. We see that this contact may be very passionate. It may be some sexy texting. It may be some very, very happy, joyful, abundant, you know, sexy communication. It can be making love all night uh, long, but it really is. Again, we see this taking flight. Do you see the wings here? We see the wings and we see the umbrellas. There's something that flight has to do with the relationship, lifting off the earth as you know it on the mundane. We also see the Empress card. Your outcome is abundance. And with the Emperor card, it means that you are a divine match. You are a match set. You will meet again. The Nine of Swords says that both of you are having sleepless nights. Remorse, regret, look at all the eyes. You want to see each other so badly. And it looks as though you will. Let's look and see what the Oracle has for you, the Moon. The Queen of the Moon Oracle. Let's see what the advice is here for beautiful Aquarius and their partner. I don't think this is a question of if. This is definitely a question of when you will be in contact. Resistance. Ooh, you're resisting this. Don't hold on too tightly. The Samurai Warrior is telling me that if you look really closely, I want to... I want to, I hope you can see this. If you look really closely, the samurai warrior, the eye of the bird from the higher perspective is the eye of the samurai warrior. So your partner or the masculine energy here has a perspective that's going to allow you to come together. And the advice is do not resist. Resistance is only going to make you feel stuck. Trust that your person loves you as much as you think they do. Keep that innocent heart that you have and look forward to the day when the timing is right. There we go, keep the faith, Aquarius, keep the faith. Your person, you didn't imagine any of this. It's all very real. Your person is very aware that you might have good reason to lose faith, but they also think that you have an innocent and sweet heart. So they feel confident that when they contact you, they reach out, that you will respond in a kind, loving way. We see jeweled web connectivity. There you go. You have connection coming in. On the mundane level, at a practical level, you will hear from this person. And let's see what else we have. The dust devil moving out of stagnation. Yay! All right. And the fool's embrace, transmuting pain. Look at that. The fool card twice. Getting over the hurts and the woes and the, the time apart. Sending you love, Aquarius. Happy day.